Welcome back to The Apartment Geek. I'm your host, Chris Robinson. And today we're going to talk about something. I love the name of it. I love the game playing, um, growing up playing this game. It's Monopoly. And the title of this is The Monopoly Mentality. And it, it it's an interesting one because um, I see and I continue to meet people just in day-to-day -day life or work where I don't agree with their approach to real estate. They want to become a real estate investor and essentially um, retire from their day job and have passive income. And I see these people that are buying, um, they're very selective on what they buy. And they're also really trying to pay down the debt as quickly as possible. And I even actually know some younger people in their 30s to 40s that have 15 year mortgages on San Diego real estate. And I'm thinking, you know, this is, I don't agree with it. I don't think it's the right way to operate because we're in San Diego. And San Diego is this, this area where given what everybody else or some people think, and they talk negatively about California, and there is a lot of headwinds that we have, but San Diego is always going to take care of us kind of like the game of Monopoly. It's always, you're always, whoever, whoever has the most amount of units, and purchase the most amount of properties. It doesn't have to be Park Place and Broadway, but it could be the cheaper ones around the board. Whoever does that and uses debt to their advantage is gonna come out the winner. So the monopoly mentality is, I'm gonna kind of dovetail, dovetail this other uh, metaphor, and I call it the, the hot potato metaphor. And when I play Monopoly, I played Monopoly since I was a little kid. Um, whenever there's cash in the bank, you you buy more property with it and you don't sit on a lot of cash and that's the way that myself and other successful people are in the actual marketplace not in the game but actual reality when you have money you just buy whatever you can buy that makes reasonable sense and you take debt and you you value and you borrow as much money as you can I'm going to get a lot of probably pushback on this video from people that say, oh, you're going to overextend yourself and you're going to, um, you know, there's, it's too risky, blah, blah, blah. There were issues in, in certain time periods where things, you know, the, there was perfect storms and stars aligned and people lost their properties, interest rents way up, the, the late, 80, late 80s, early 90s. Are we, going to have, are we going to have that again in San Diego? There's so much... Um, government supervision and involvement and kind of this big brother um, government um, involvement now or role that I don't think the U.S. government is going to allow that to happen where there's, you know, in the last 12 months, we've seen interest rates go up a, a ton historically, but we don't have massive default. We don't have a bunch of blood in the streets. So as we kind of go into 2024, We've got three three more days left in the in the year. I want to remind the the public out there that there's there's somebody that told me something when I was 22 years old, and they, and they said, get your name on deeds when you're young. Don't worry about what the deeds are. They don't have to be La Jolla. They don't have to be these 10% cap rate deals. Just get in the game, and whenever you have money from your day job or refinancing a property, at some point we're going to be able to do that again. Put it back into the market, kind of like you're playing Monopoly, and get as many properties as you can. Yes, there's some certain, certain things in Monopoly maybe we pass on, but usually the winners of that game are the ones that take the money and they purchase as much as they can early on when you're young. Exa example in reality was when you're young. And you compile real estate and then you end up cash flowing and you take down other people because they land on your property and pay you rent just like the real world so use debt to your advantage you don't need to pay things off i think there's a big misconception around debt and somebody the other day was talking about all the interest they had to pay on this the real estate mortgage and i'm going who the heck cares about the debt or the interest i i use debt as much as i can and I extend things out as much as possible because I have faith in San Diego. I'm a local guy. Hopefully, a lot of the people on here understand the fundamentals. We've talked about them for so many episodes. Nothing is going to happen in San Diego. I mean, short of there being some huge earthquake or catastrophe, um, that would be horrible. 
But San Diego is going, it's only getting more stylish and more expensive. More people want to move here. It's America's finest city. So use debt to your advantage. Get the most amount of debt you can. Extend your loans out as much as possible. Don't worry about this interest, the interest that you're paying. Um, surrender to the fact that San Diego is going to always be this amazing, desirable market and buy whatever the heck you can get your hands on that makes reasonable sense. So those are my two cents for today. I'm tired of talking to people over the years and knowing knowing certain people that I'm like, you're not making progress because you're not following this anx- almost anxious approach to buying real estate where you it's like a game. You really want to buy as much property as you can as soon as possible. That's the golden rule. Refinance whenever you can. Pull equity out. Keep extending your loans. The loans is what's going to really help you get from here way up to here. That's like your best friend is other people's money. So let me know what you think. This is kind of a me. I want to shake some people that I run into, but I love them. And I hope everybody has a happy new year. And I'm excited for an amazing 2024. See you soon.